I am Dana Malcolm. Rashid Hassan is here with me for this, your evening edition of Top Stories for Tuesday, November 14th. Next, the news that matters most. You can always find what you're looking for and what you need at Quality Food World. Shop retail, shop wholesale. Quality has the brands you know, the brands you love. Always quality. Big savings every day. And remember to look out for sales for even bigger savings. Open 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mondays through Saturdays. Open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sundays. On the Five Keys Access Road. Quality Food World, a prime trading company. First up, we go to Premier Washington Music, updating us from London on the ongoing Joint Ministerial Council meeting. Started out with a meeting with the Shadow Minister for the SCPO, and then we had the Yukata political uh, meeting, and then last night we had a meeting with the Minister, Minister Rutley. So the minute yesterday was quite packed. He was speaking on RTCFM during the JMC Journal. A mystery resident or group of residents has taken it upon themselves to pick out what they describe as political hopefuls with, quote, integrity to form a potential coalition party. The list, which has been making the rounds on social media, has no affixed author but claims both the PDM and PNP have failed the country. It's for this reason the unnamed individuals say they drew up the new form party. Notable names invited to be part of that coalition include Jazz Walken, District Commissioner for North Caicos, Akira Mizik, MP for Leeward and Long Bay, Derek Taylor, former Chief Minister, past PMP member George Lightburn, current MPs Sean Malcolm, E.J. Saunders, and Kyle Knowles, as well as Drexel Seymour, show host and CPA, and much more. None of the mentioned have yet claimed any public interest in being part of this new coalition. Magnetic Media is your news leader. Coming up next, Rashid Esson, he has top stories from around the region. Get armed with an alarm system from Spent Security. What if you didn't wait until your home was invaded, your family threatened, or left to the mercy of a gun-carrying intruder? What if you didn't wait for someone to enter your business and put your staff and customers at risk? And what if you made your home less attractive to burglaries and trespassers? With alarm systems starting at $499.99, Spend Security can get you armed with cameras, panic buttons, emergency notifications, and best of all, Spend Security installs. Low monthly monitoring from $79.99 when you sign up for one year. Conditions apply, so contact Spend Security today. Dependable, professional, service you can trust. That's Spend Security. It's now time for your regional top stories. I'm Rashid Essen. It's a sad day at the Nassau port in the Bahamas as a woman lost her life in a tragic boat accident this morning where a Blue Lagoon Island pleasure craft carrying Bahamians and visitors sank near Paradise Island. The main cause of the incident is yet to be confirmed, but Bahamian waters have been rough. In fact, weather reports say small vessels should stay in port for safety reasons as the country is expecting bad weather. The remaining survivors were transported back to shore. Today, November 14th, 2023, is World Diabetes Day, and the Pan American Health Organization, PAHO, aims to educate the public about the disease. Diabetes is a global disease. However, according to PAHO in a 2021 report, in the region, it accounts for nearly 300,000 deaths in men and women. Despite these numbers, PAHO informs that diabetes can be prevented with lifestyle changes and treat it effectively with regular checkups and medication. The Caribbean region's readiness for the transition to electric vehicles is in question, as highlighted by CARICOM Assistant Secretary General Joseph Cox. He pointed out that factors such as the cost of electricity puts the region in a place of unpreparedness for electric vehicles, as the electricity grid could be put under more stress given the already high electricity rates. Cox was giving his remarks at the opening of the 8th Carbon Energy Forum on November 7th. Magnetic Media is your news leader. There is a butcher in store at the new Sunny Foods at the Blue Hills Roundabout. Visit the store for the same sunny service, same sunny selection, same sunny savings. Sunny Foods in Five Keys. Sunny Foods in Grand Turk. Two locations. Sunny Foods now in Blue Hills. Sunny says no one beats his prices. No one. Police are investigating two robberies from last Saturday. The first, at around 6.30, two armed men attacked a security guard and an employee at an industrial drive business, robbing them of their valuables before escaping in a getaway vehicle. 
Then about 10.34 p.m. near the Five Keys Junction, a man was driving south along Industrial Drive in his vehicle when another car almost hit him. When he got out, a man emerged from the offending car with a gun and robbed him before escaping in a waiting white car. As for the tropics this evening, Dr. Holly Hamilton, head of the TCI Met Service, gives us an update. A broad area of low pressure is expected to form over the southwestern Caribbean. A tropical depression is likely to form late this week. Regardless of development, this system has the potential to produce heavy rains and squally weather conditions over the Turks and Caicos Islands by Thursday or Friday of this week. That is it for this edition of the news. On behalf of the entire news team, thank you so much for joining us. Top Stories in 5 is a magnetic media production.